Hi guys, this is the uh, video review of the Gubang Du T20 portable LCD projector. Um, there, I've already taken it out of the box, I just wanted to show you what the box looks like when we move that out of the way. I handle on it for portability. The projector itself comes in this protective bag. It's uh, black plastic, well built, control panel here. Manual adjustment here. This is the uh, keystone adjustment. Lens on the front, lens cap, of course. Uh, for height adjustment, screw in, screw out height adjustment. Four rubber feet on the bottom. On the right hand side, you've got a uh, full size SD card slot, two USB ports, and an HDMI port. This, of course, is the fan. This thing's water-cooled. On the rear, you have a monitor cable output, and this is an IR receiver. And the power plug goes in there. There's also an IR receiver on the front, so you can use it for presentations. Also in the box is a US power plug. A red, yellow, white uh, composite um, video adapter. The instruction booklet, which is in English and has plenty of pictures, plenty of diagrams, show you how to use the box. A relatively short HDMI cable, um, but it's nice to have the HDMI cable included. And last, an infrared remote control. Um, looks a lot like the remote controls you get with some Android boxes. It's very simple, straightforward. Um, this is uh, for input selection. You get a menu, power, of course your directional pad and your OK button. This is a back button and this is to control volume. The um, projector has two built-in speakers in the back for stereo sound. And it's um, it'll project up to a 1080 image, but the the, the native resolution is uh, 800 by 480. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hook it up and uh, play some video through it, give you an idea of uh, what kind of image quality you get. Back in a minute, guys. Okay, gang, the uh, projector's on, and it's thrown onto a a white wall. That little um, cutout you see in the upper left-hand corner is actually a a, um, a light switch. Um, I wanted to show this at 100%. I could drop it down to 90%. It has a zoom function, but I wanted to show it at 100%. And because of the size of this wall, which is the only empty wall I had, um, you're looking at a little bit of a light switch up in the corner. Not a big deal as long as you know that's what that is. Um, we can, when you turn it on, you're going to get a main menu. This is the main menu. Uh, movie, music, photo, text, and of course your option menu. That can also be brought up by um, tapping the menu button. And this is what you'll get. Uh, you have a picture stand, you have a picture mode, a color mode, aspect ratio control, noise reduction, projection front, and a uh, zoom ratio. Like I said, I have it set at 100%. If we go to movie, what I have to demo this is um, another video of mine that's up on YouTube. Uh, I threw it on a uh, uh, an SD card through a USB adapter, popped it into the USB, one of the two USB ports on this thing. Um, and I thought I'd give you a quick look. Um, you're also going to hear the sound from this video, so I'm going to shut up for a second. And um, the sound on this little projector is actually pretty good. It's got stereo speakers in the back. Of course, they're really close together. The unit itself is no more than 10 inches wide, but the sound itself is not bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and let you take a look at the video, and I'm going to shut up for a minute. Well, you'll hear me, but it'll be a different me. Welcome to the uh, video review of the GameSir G4S Advanced Edition Bluetooth and 2.4 GHz wireless controller for Android and PC. Um, it's not a traditional unboxing in that the device is already out of the box, but you didn't want to see me struggle with getting it out of that plastic holder because it's really tough to get out of there, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing uh, when it ships. It's not going to move around anywhere. It comes in this great um, case, not in a standard cardboard box, but ships in this case. It came double box wrapped in bubble wrap. 
from Amazon. Um, like I say, it's really tough to get out of this, but that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Okay, so that's enough of that. I just wanted to get you an idea of what the picture quality is like. Now you're Hi looking everybody. at. everybody, welcome to the uh, video review of the. <laughs> Actually, stop that for now. That was me. Um, the uh, the projector itself is is nice for what it is. I mean, it's not going to be your um, your main home theater projector. I wouldn't think it's it'll project up to a 1080p image as an input, but its native resolution is 800 by 480. So that's pretty much what you're going to see on the wall. I would imagine the further you get away from the wall, the less dense the image becomes. Like I say, this is a this is at a distance of about a meter and a half, two meters, um, you know, six eight feet uh, from the from the actual wall. Um, the piece is well built. The um, remote is responsive on both IR receivers front and back. Um, it's it's something that's going to be extremely portable for you. Um, it runs fairly quietly. There's a fan on it right now. You can hear it, but you can barely hear it. Um, it's water-cooled, which is nice. It's not going to overheat on you. But to me, this would be a, um, it's a great choice for a, um, a secondary, like, projector for a kid's room, for them to play video games, or, you know, watch their cartoons, you know, for the less, you know, discerning eye. Um, it, it, it wouldn't be bad at all. Um, it's also great for things like presentations if you wanted to take it on a, a road trip and use it as a uh, presentation for um, or as a uh, projector for a presentation either a video presentation or something like a uh, if you if you did it as pictures you could do it as a uh, a slideshow like a, a PowerPoint slideshow or something like that you can also run your uh, PC through this you can run your laptop into it it's got a uh, an, uh, a monitor in um, in the back, and like, a, and of course, an HDMI cable. A lot of laptops have HDMI outs now, and you could certainly use this. You know, as a, it'd be great for presentations. It's light; thing doesn't weigh more than about five pounds. Uh, the box it comes in is great to pack it back up in. It's got a little handle on it. The box itself is not much bigger than the the, the um, projector and the accessories, and um, the price is right on it. I mean, you can get it pretty much everywhere well under a hundred dollars um, Amazon I think has it right now for seventy nine ninety nine um, and you know you can it's for that kind of money um, you're definitely getting you know your your money's worth like I say it's not going to be your your main living room projector it's not the kind of thing you're going to want to mount from the ceiling um, but if you understand what it is you're trying to buy and you you know flex that against how much it actually costs you get a pretty good bang for your buck with this piece. Um, all right, well that's that's it for the uh, Gubangdu uh, T20 LED projector. Um, I'll put a link um, down in the uh, bottom of the uh, video for the uh, Amazon listing, and I'll see you guys next time.